makes the connection, you know, makes it more of, even though we felt like it was a family first walking in because people always spoke to us, the more involved you are and the more connections you make, the closer you are. And you have that extended family there to support you whenever you need it. When I think of First Church, I think of family. When I think of First Church, it's definitely family that I think about. It's fun coming to church because um, there's like activities and fun stuff in Sunday school like making stuff out of pipe cleaners and learning about God. My wife Sandy uh, one day had a stomach ache and went in and got uh, evaluated and found out she had pancreatic cancer and uh, they only gave her about four months to live. So. It was a little different time there as what we were going to do during that time. And, uh, and, and definitely I think the, the, the faith that we both had there knew it gave her a peace uh, about where she was going and what she wanted to do with her last days. And, um, <clears throat> and I think uh, the fellowship that we had always enjoyed with the people in the church each and every week uh, was called upon because it's one thing to talk about it, it's another thing that's when you really need it you need to hold on to it because it's that one final uh, challenge that everybody's going to go through is that final death. And, uh, and I think it was just the peacefulness of knowing everything that we learned in church, everything that you talk about in church is helping to prepare you for that moment when you're no longer here on earth. And I think that gave us a peace that uh, whatever happens and where we're going to go from there, that uh, we both would be serving God however we could. So uh, it was very instrumental, and the church certainly rallied around us at the times when we, once everybody found out about it. Give me three words that describe your favorite things about this church. Maybe learn, and then like family throughout the church, not just like my actual family, but you know, the family of the church. And then probably just like God getting to learn and know Him. And so it becomes part of who you are and part of what you do and part of what centers you and gets you ready for the week that's coming and helps heal whatever happened to you the week behind you. It's just that place where you can come down and there's that steady, omnipotent presence that just brings you back to who you are. I would say that everyone is just so close. Um, like in the youth ministry, uh, you know, the seniors, we, we, uh, we're starting this new thing this year where we are uh, adopting uh, a sixth grader and you know, we're kind of uh, mentor a group of sixth graders uh, each of us have picked out um, a group of kids for us to mentor to um, and just make sure that they feel comfortable within the church and that they know that someone wants them to be there and that someone loves them and that um, you know we're gonna you know play games with them and just hang out with them and mentor to them um, I really feel like that uh, this is gonna be a good program uh, for the rest of uh, starting this year for the rest of the, the years to come because um, I, I just feel like it's just going to grow the youth ministry that more and grow us closer as a family. The reason that I stay here is because I feel like this is an extension of our family and I feel like through our small group we really have that extension of family, people that you can call about anything for the littlest celebrations and the biggest heartaches you call those people and so I feel like it's family and I feel like our kids have that here as well and that's why they want to be here so much and so I feel like we as a church here are allowed to grow with each other and grow in our faith at the same time and I feel like that's a huge blessing to be able to be a part of something like that.